Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again. And in this video, I'm going to show you my way of fixing Kingdom Galvatron's shoulders. I just got my Galvatron in the other day and as expected, he had the shoulder problems where the shoulders are misassembled and they hang a little lower than they should be. Now I scoured the internet and YouTube watching different fixes. I talked to my good buddy Bert the Stormtrooper who showed me how he fixed his. I seen people using screwdrivers. I've seen uh, people like Bert use butter knives to try to avoid scratching up or causing stress marks on the figure. I actually tried the butter knife trick myself, but right there, I got a little bit of a stress mark. So I thought to myself, there's got to be an easier way. Then I happened to stumble across Robo Samurai's video where he used a upholstery removal tool that he found on Amazon. But of course, me being me, I didn't want to spend more money on Amazon to wait three or four days for a tool set to arrive. So I went searching online and actually found this trim removal toolkit at Napa. I went to my local Napa. They didn't have them, but I was able to order it online yesterday and it showed up today for pickup. So I just got back from the store with the toolkit and to my surprise, it really worked. As you can see, I've already fixed the left shoulder on Galvatron and he looks so much better and this is so easy. I mean, you don't need all these different prying tools to do it. All you need is that one right there. The second one from the bottom, you need that tool, a magnet, a combiner wars foot, which I'll show you how that uh, comes into play later, and a hairdryer. Before you get started, you want to warm up the plastic on the shoulder you're going to fix. That's going to make the plastic more pliable. So now with enough of me rambling on about the tools to fix it, let's go ahead and show you how it's done. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Okay, now I've just warmed up the shoulder to my Galvatron with the hairdryer. And what you want to do is make sure the arm is in this position right here. There is a seam right there behind the treads. You can actually see it better right here. See the seam? You want to make sure that this seam lines up to the gap in the shoulder. And you're going to take this tool right here. Make sure the shoulder is like this so you have some gap. And you want to get this tool in between the shoulders. And what I like about this tool is with the little U-shape here, it goes around the pin. And this isn't a fast fix by any means. You're gonna to wanna to take your time doing this, kinda of angle everything so you can get a good grip, a good way to do it, and just work it. Just get in there and dig and move. And these are vinyl, so you're not gonna worry about scratching up the plastic. So just get at it. And after I loosen up the side with the pin, I'll come here on the other side, mess around with it a little bit. You really don't need any other tools. I thought I would when I did this shoulder, but this tool right here, it's all you need. So just kind of work with it. So you got it nice and separated. If you can see right in there, the pin is held with another plastic tube. So there's a piece of plastic that goes through this joint. So you got to work the pin out of that. So let me get this back in here. I'm hoping I can catch the pin pop on camera because you can definitely tell when you get that thing out. So it's getting a nice gap right there. So getting close. And I'll tell you this, this is murder on your thumbs. Making some headway. See the gap right there? And I've probably been at this about three minutes. Just kind of flip this tool around. It's slow and steady. You don't want to rush it. You don't want to damage your figure. I mean, you've already paid 50 bucks for this guy. And of course, then you got to pay another $6 for the tool kit. So just go in each side. He's almost there. I just, you just got to get that pin to pop. 
And once the pin pops, that's the hard part. The hard part is over when that pin pops. Let me try this again. Just attack it from all these different angles. You can really get this tool in there deep too. There we go. The pin popped. Now you're gonna take your magnet. I've got these really powerful magnets that Firetox gave me and takes the pin right out. So now what I'm gonna do is heat this shoulder joint up again because you're gonna to have to pry this apart to get the little, as I said, that little plastic tube, pin holding tube out. And pin went in here, but the tube is connected to this side. So let me get Galvatron heated back up again. Okay, I've got the shoulder heated back up. So now let's get this spread apart. You're gonna put the tool in on the opposite side where the pin was. And as you can see right there, see the tube? I don't know what that's called, the technical term for that is. Get that opened up enough so you can get it off of the shoulder joint. This is, eh, come on, come on. Right there, there we go. So the shoulder is now off. So right there's what you got. If you look, no stress marks whatsoever. And I do want to stress the importance, once again, of having this seam lined up where you're separating these pieces. That way you don't have to worry about messing up the bicep. So now, here we got Galvatron. Right there, see how this looks? You need to turn it this way where the smooth part is on top. Because you can see down this way, the circle, the hole is lower. Bringing it up is gonna bring that hole a little higher, which will in turn make the shoulders look correct. So now, this is another fun part. You wanna separate your shoulders once again. And I tell you, just to be safe, I'm gonna heat this part up one more time. Okay, the shoulder section is hot. So now let's make sure we get this right. Just my luck, you know, I don't wanna do all that work and then you pop it back in backwards again. So make sure your little tab rectangle is right there because that's the front. And we're just going to get this back in. Okay, I actually had to put him in my lap to get this ready. But once you have this in place, oh, there it goes, popped right out again. Come on, there we go, there we go. Get that in there. Get that little peg through the hole. Get into the hole, there we go. My God, I have broke a sweat. So now, the shoulders are in their proper place. Now let's get the pin back in. And this is where the combiner war foot comes into play. Come on, Galvatron, stand up for me. I've got the pin still attached to the magnet right here. Turn Galvatron over and get that pin in place like so. And now with the combiner war foot, I've discovered this little hole right here is like a five millimeter hole but uh, some of the guns are a little harder to get in, but with the foot, you've got more surface area to press with. So you get that in there, and now you can grab it like so, and squeeze. Ah, it goes in, and now you've got the pin back in, nice and secure, and now your Galvatron shoulders look proper. So, yeah, there you go. It's it's a job, it's not an easy task, but now Galvatron looks so much better. And as you can see, there is no stress marks whatsoever. So yeah, there you go guys. A $6 Napa tool kit and a combiner foot with a hairdryer, you're good to go. But it is such a damn shame that you have to spend an extra $6 to fix an issue that Hasbro should have caught. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!